time is of the essence, guys. My dad had this theory. He said that guys with four-wheel drive trucks are the first ones to get stuck. But I'm not taking any chances because he never evidently drove my, my white truck, which is two-wheel drive. And that thing would get stuck on dry pavement in the middle of July. So I brought my four-wheel drive back here. We've had some weird weather. We had that big hurricane a couple weeks ago. Just We just got soaked with rain. We had 70 degree weather and then all of a sudden cold. We were down to 10 degrees and the ground is frozen hard. It still is frozen, but I'm running out of time. The plan is I need to finish off these logs and get these split and then get this axis moved up to dry ground. I think I have figured out where I want to permanently set this. But for today, I need to get all of these split and get everything moved out of here. The other challenge, I thought I was just going to bring my tractor and trailer back here. But I thought, you know what, this isn't a lot of wood. It should all fit in the back of my four-wheel drive. And we'll just finish it like that. The other challenge, we built this last skidway up here. And it's kind of in my way of getting my truck in here. I might not even use the conveyor for this and just, um, I'm gonna back my truck up behind the machine. I'll just toss it in by hand. Here we go. Let's get this axis fired up. Let's get this wood split and let's get it out of here. I had to bring out some fuel and I brought out the hitch. I'm just gonna pull this with the truck and I figure with the four wheel drive, if I get some spinning tires, I should be in a lot better shape. I need to put some fuel in here because I ran this for a pretty long time the last time and I know it's gonna need some. This is the Easton Made Axis. It has been a major contributor to our production. This is the Briggs and Stratton Vanguard 14 horsepower. It runs really good. I had always said this kind of hard to pull. I don't know if these come with an electric start option, but that would be something to look into.
sometimes with the axis, if you have a lock that's cut uh, crooked, it'll kick out on you. So you need to find a discrete spot. tailgate shot so I can get the hips off.
great. And that was fast, man. I gotta get this hitch on and we're gonna put my truck up here. We'll get it hitched up and I'm moving this machine for the season because this entire area, I get mudded out from it once, you know, the weather turns. When things are frozen, everything's nice. But we got this warm weather coming in and I'm already feeling some squishy. I got my muck boots on. The ground is already loosening up and I uh, won't be able to get back here anymore. So I got to get this machine out now <laughs> or I could probably put a roof over top of it because it'll stay out here forever. Obvious thing here, guys. I got two large rounds and I have moved these twice to split them. And every time I've moved them, a number of mice have come running out of them. <laughs> so I got mice living in these and you know what? I'm just gonna let them stay there for the winter. The way I see it, I'm being nice, number one. Number two, that might give them impetus to relocate into my house. So we're gonna leave these out here for the season. I'll deal with these in the spring. Couple things first. I This has like a transport mode. I don't need to do it here for my own yard, but it does help if the lift is up. So I need to start up the machine. Put that up and then I also want to crank up the I just don't like watching this thing flex on that cable when I'm pulling it in the yard Look at that, perfect. There was no editing or nothing. That was, move on. There we go, man. So we will pull up these outriggers, get enough ground clearance so I'm not digging into the ground as I pull this up. It's got these drop legs on them too. I had chosen for my main delivery truck to be that to go with two-wheel drive. Guys, it was just it was like ten thousand dollars cheaper than a four-wheel drive truck. And I just don't deliver wood when the weather's bad. You still run into an occasional problem. Some of these driveways have a real big slope on them, and you know that truck. I'm serious. It'll sit and spin, and it will go nowhere how bad that traction is that truck will get stuck in my driveway in the winter time i'll have to pull it out with this and just as a habit i pull it out in two-wheel drive just to prove i can this has a limited slip rear end in it including four-wheel drive but that's just how good the traction is on this i still have my four-wheel drive when i need it it's nice sometimes with the trailer uh, if you're going into you know slippery areas but that's been my plan this whole time was to minimize my expenses. And that was the one way to get that two wheel drive truck. So we are gonna pull the axis up to the pavement and we're just gonna set it there. I'll be able to use my tractor on another day. I'll get it put into the ideal spot that I think uh, will give me some good service with it this winter. Here we go.
That was a first. I don't know if I've ever backed this up before. It's touchy. It's not an easy. Uh, it's not an easy one to back up. I am not sure when this video is going to run, but this could be a Thanksgiving Day video, and if it is, I hope that you guys are all having an enjoyable Thanksgiving, and I am now old enough to know that sometimes holidays aren't all that exciting, you know, and if that is the case, just know as long as Ohio wood burner is around, you will always have a place to tune in and hang out with me and I'll do my best to keep you entertained. So I have the access setting here for right now. I'm going to move my truck so where I can get all this unloaded. And that's how I get it done, guys. I did it. There are some things that occur during my work week that cause me stress. And laying in bed at night was me worrying about this splitter out in the middle of a mud field and me not being able to get to it. I knew the weather was changing, but the ground is still firm. So I just got all that splitting done. I got the splitter up here. I'm able to get this wood stacked and I'm able to... Um, be productive and I created this nice little area it's hard pack I can get into it in the middle of winter and get uh, get this wood sold this was that load of wood I wasn't real happy about and I just went ahead and stacked it all here is for the pizza ovens because those pizza ovens don't really care about you know the the quality of the wood the way that these restaurants that cook over top of it do they just need it to be on fire and to, and to be hot so I've just set all of this over here for pizza oven wood. And that's all I have for you today, guys. I'm glad I got this done. That was starting to bother me. I can cross that off my list of worries now. I hope everyone has a great day.